good morning again. Yeah, listen, I thought, let me do this second cup of coffee with y'all because I, I had this realization with the first one. So, you know, I've got my spinner here, which I'm working down through all the coffees that I've got. Now, this one is Bianco Forte. This is a 7.77 ounce, okay? Now, this is made to drink with milk, but I'm gonna try it without milk first, and I'll tell you why. For my first cup this morning, I had the peppermint pinwheel, and I just had it plain. Oh, good morning, Carrie. And, oh, it tasted so good. Oh my gosh. It recalled to me all the reasons that I like it so well. Well, then I added some milk to it. And it dulled the flavor a little bit, but it was still pretty good. But then I started eating my breakfast bar with it kind of honestly ruined the whole experience. Oh, hey, Shelly. And this is what I realized, and <clears throat> I've never realized this before, that when we try new coffees, it's probably best to try them at first black, before we've had anything else to eat or drink because whatever we're having with it or tastes that have already influenced our palate may have an effect on what the coffee tastes like. You know, for example, I love the peppermint pinwheel, but oh, when I started having it with my breakfast bar that I have every morning, it just, it wasn't so good. So here I've got Bianco Forte. This is a blend that was made to drink with milk. I'm going to go ahead and stir in the crema. I don't have any milk in this. It's, it's black and hot. <laughs> Woo! I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it's, it's kind of strong, um, but strong in a way that, I don't know, I feel a little bit of bitterness or taste a little bitterness. Let me, let's see, I've got some of this silk dairy-free creamer. Well, let me, I'm not going to use the dairy-free. I'm going to use the mini mousse. Okay, so let me slide this down so you can see. Okay. Up, slide it down a little more. How do I get this in the view? You know, I do these things live and obviously unplanned for things happen. Okay, so, oh, good morning, Stacy. Okay, so there's one mini moon and Here's another mini moo. Okay, and I'll mix it in. You know, um, because milk or cream, cream or whatever, tends to dull or soften the flavors in whatever coffee you're having, we'll see if this softens that bitter flavor I um, detected. And it does, you know, it's much nicer with the creamer in it. Or it's half and half, it's half cream, half milk. 
So I'm thinking that sometimes when somebody tries a new coffee and they say, oh, you know, I didn't like that. I have to ask, well, did you have something before that? Have you had another cup of coffee? Are you eating something else with it? Or even, you know, sometimes how when people are cooking, there can be really strong odors in the kitchen and it can even affect the way you experience the, the flavor of other things. So, you know, that's something to think about, something to consider. On the other hand, if you're the sort of person that likes to have a cup of coffee and a piece of Danish or something like that, then you need a coffee that's going to go well with that, right? I mean, it's kind of like that with everything in life. Um, you're not just in isolation, but what's happening around you, what just happened to you, um, is going to affect how you feel now and how you experience things now. You know, if a bunch of negative things have happened, then you may experience the next thing in a negative way. Or you may have said to yourself, oh, enough of this negative stuff. I am going to look for something positive in the next thing that happens to me. But anyway, you know, just coming back to coffee, um... It makes a difference what you're having with it or what you had just before. And on the other hand, again, or maybe this is a third hand already, you'll want to have a coffee that you can have with anything, anytime, before, after, or during, whatever. Hmm. It's pretty good stuff, though. Well, listen, I hope you have a good day and a good weekend. If you celebrate Easter, I hope you have a happy Easter. I'll talk to you later.